Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi everyone. This short video is about um, a suggestion that I found really useful uh, and I think that can enhance your morning report experience. So let's start. So basically, as you know, morning report is a very popular uh, medical education activity. Uh, I believe it's probably in almost every residency program. It has really a lot of uh, advantages. So, um, you know, it really involves a lot of resident interaction, and this has been shown in uh, some studies that this is probably one thing that uh, residents like the most about the modeling report. Also, it can enhance your presentation skills as a um, as a presenter, and also uh, expected to increase the medical knowledge. And hopefully, which I think is really kind of a main part of the modeling report, is to enhance the clinical reasoning. Uh, so it's not just about reaching the diagnosis, but really about how to reach the diagnosis. And of course, yeah, some issues to consider uh, during the morning report is that it, it, uh, the preparation uh, might take some time for the session to uh, uh, be presented in a nice way. Uh, is there is no a lot of uh, teaching and education, you know, that might not really be appealing to the resident. Um, if it's done during the uh, early morning, maybe it might interrupt some of the workflow, especially in the inpatient setting. And which is not really, I don't think it's really happening quite often. You know, sometimes you might even have some heated discussions. So, um, this paper actually, um, I think it's really useful. It talks about, um, uh, it, it looked into literature about the modeling report and how different residents uh, do it. So if you really want to learn more about it, I suggest that you um, uh, use it. So the app I, I suggest that you use in the modeling report is called Poll Everywhere. Uh, it's free. Uh, when you uh, type in Poll Everywhere in the search, uh, you're going to see um, two uh, apps. One of them is for the audience uh, and the other one is for the presenters. So um, both of them are free. So basically I use the Mac and um, uh, it, you can actually uh, uh, install the app as an um, uh, add-in. So basically you click on insert. This is in the Mac. Uh, you click on insert and then um, you click on my add-ins and then you can add the uh, poll everywhere. You just need to kind of sign in in the computer that you're using uh, for your presentation. So this is what you're going to see. Um, this is kind of the my activities uh, page. And then uh, you click on your activity and then you're going to have a lot of options. Yeah, including the popular one, which is a multiple choice. A lot of people use Poll Everywhere for multiple choice, and they ask the audience to pick up the, what they think is the right cho uh, choice or the right answer. But here we're going to use the uh, ranking. So basically, this is the next page. Uh, you're going to click on Edit, and um, basically, you just going to, this is the question what is the most likely diagnosis in this patient with shortness of breath, for example? So uh, you can just write in uh, the uh, most likely differential diagnosis. And you, of course, you can add as many as you would like to, um, depending on how many differential diagnoses the audience or the resident uh, suggest. And then you uh, save all that. And of course, you can add more as you go through the discussion. And then this is how it can show uh, up in the slide. And then you uh, activate the poll, and then you can, you're going to ask the um, uh, audience to uh, basically uh, um, type in in their app uh, your uh, um, session name. You're gonna be uh, uh, giving this name as you uh, after you sign in, and, and, and again, sign is free. And then this is how the audience app will look like. So when they open it and they enter uh, uh, your um, uh, um, username basically then they, uh, they're gonna have the um, they're gonna have access to the options and then all they need is to click on uh, the option and then they can move that option up and down and when they're satisfied with the order uh, that they want they can uh, you know click uh, submit and this is how it's going to show up you know uh, depend the, the first one would be the, the one that most uh, uh, of the resident uh, picked followed by the second one third one you know depending on the number of choices that you have. So what I suggest is you use this after you give the history and then you ask the uh, audience what, what, do, what do you think is the most likely diagnosis and why and then they can give their clinical reasoning behind that choice. 
and then um, you uh, you do it again as you uh, present the physical examination and see if physical exam actually will make any difference. For example, you know if you present a case of shortness of breath and then the patient doesn't have any features of uh, uh, fluid overload or heart failure, then you know the audience might think, well, now maybe uh, heart failure is really less uh, less likely. Maybe I want to move it down further. And then you can do it again after labs or images and see, you know, if if the dynamic of the uh, differential diagnosis changes. And on again, I really encourage you to kind of think about why you think this is a muscle -like diagnosis, and why you think the others are less likely diagnosis, and what what would you like to see or to expect to kind of confirm that uh, your clinical um, suspicion. So um, again, um, um, if you need more suggestions there's a lot of research about the morning report um this is just one of them and you know if you have any interesting um suggestions i would like really to uh, hear from you and you know uh, send me an email uh and i'll be more than happy uh, to look it up and maybe even try it during our morning report so i hope uh, you'll try it and then um i appreciate any feedback if you find it really interesting all right thank you